Καλησπέρα σας, καλή φίλη τι θεατές. Καλώς ορίσατε στην εκπομπή μας Faces, πρόσωπα. Welcome. I'm afraid I have to turn to English straight away because I have Elizabeth Chapman with me. Hello. And she's uh, she born, you born in uh, London from right. Greek parents. Yeah. You know, she, she um, is, um, you know, a Cypriot girl, but uh, you prefer to talk in English? You, I feel more comfortable. Yeah, more yeah. comfortable, yes. Yeah. Welcome, anyway. Καλώς ορίσες. Thank you. Okay. Um, I like always to start with, uh, you know, I'm, I like to travel back, you know, long uh, time ago when, you know, people uh, were born and, you know, I like to find out more yeah. when you were a child and w where you born and all this kind of thing. Uh -huh. You know, so uh, would you mind telling me, I mean, you're born in London and yes. tell me about your uh, family and all this. Where are you born in London? Where? Uh, uh, here um, in North London? or? Yeah, I grew yeah. up first of all in Crouch End uh -huh. until the age of 11 and then we moved to Southgate mm -hmm. where I went to secondary school. And since then I've got married. I have a child. And yeah, but before that, you study you you study performing arts, yes? Yeah, I mean, music from a very young age has been all around me. Yes. My dad um, sings and plays the bazooki in the Greek band Midas Touch. Midas Touch, yes. Of which I'm a member now as yeah, well. And you work with them as well? I do, I work with Midas Touch. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, when did you start? I mean, when, uh, how long ago was when you remember yourself singing, start singing? <clears throat> well, my just touch has been going for a very long time. So, when I was a very young girl, mm -hmm. um, at family weddings, dinner dances, etc., um, my just touch would be playing, and I'd see my dad up there on stage, and you know, listening to music at home. It was just always all around me. So, my first. From what I remember performing, I was probably about five or six years old. Five? And oh my God. my yeah. famous song within the family to get up and sing would be Samyodisa. Samyodisa? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a very well known uh, tune, and I suppose every child knows uh, this song. Yeah. Because uh, you're doing this, you, you went to Greek school as I well? I did, yeah. You I did, went yes. to Apostolo Barnava. Okay, in yeah. Greek schools, uh, usually they do these uh, songs, you know. Yeah. Yes. I knew all the words before yes, I got there. Yes, yes. <laughs> Samyodis, yeah. it's a very good uh, song, actually. Very yeah. traditional. Yeah. So, uh, okay, and uh, professionally, uh, when um, did you start? I started while I was at secondary school. I joined Midas Touch when I was 15 years old. Mm. And um, I remember my first professional gig, if you like, with the band. I sang three songs. <laughs> Um, which I'd wait around for the rest of the evening on the stage, but um, now I sing so much. I sing a lot. So gradually yeah. over the years I would become more experienced and mm -hmm. sing more songs. How you manage to sing the songs um, so nicely, clear, and uh, you are not able to speak the language? I mean, yeah. you, you don't try to speak, I suppose. I think it's a combination of confidence, uh -huh. Of being able to express myself, how do you put it? Um, interpreting between privacies, if you like. Whereas um, when you're given the lyrics to a Greek song mm -hmm. and you understand the meaning behind them, sometimes I'll pull my dad up and say, "Dad, what, what does this word mean?" You know, and just you know, learn the lyrics to a song, the meaning behind them, then you can perform them mm -hmm. well. And obviously, I I know I know more than how than I let on if that makes sense yeah so it's just i think it's a confidence thing yes. for me when you're singing it's different all right how you find it is it easy to work with your dad do your dad i mean is it how is it difficult easy i mean you know and oh. especially in this business you know entertainment business you know you might be play a little bit of uh, star and you know, uh, he uh, is he good with you? I mean, is he giving you advice? How you work? How you? He's, how he's you work always, together? My dad is very chilled out, so uh -huh. he's very, uh, you know. No. Nah. You'll be fine. You know, you'll be okay. Um, uh, before, when I was a lot younger, we'd go over um, 
you know, lyrics to songs and certain um, techniques mm -hmm. of singing in Greek, yes. the different styles. Yeah. And um, he would sort of break it down for me note by note and say, try this and try mm -hmm. that. And um, eventually it became a second nature yes. for me. Uh, but my dad was brilliant. He would really sort of encourage me, but not mm -hmm. put too much pressure. But the one thing he was very, very strict on um, when it came to performing on stage was uh, lyrics. Lyrics, he didn't yes. want lyrics in front of me. He said, do you learn everything from memory? Yes. Because he fell into a habit of having the lyrics on stage and he said... It's and because no, no. you're losing concentration when you have to look the lyrics. And That's right, yeah. But it's so. good if you keep the lyrics in your mind. Yeah, and it's a good skill to have, and it gives you it's, more confidence. It's like the acting, because you are an actress as well, yes? Yeah, that's correct. Tell me about acting. I mean, how? You, I mean, was it a combination of studies, or and you 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 study acting and uh, you know performing arts it was, it uh, all was together? A, yes. I, I I sort of discovered my love for acting and dance as well as singing music, if you like, mm -hmm. um, when I was at college. And I had to make the decision because I was doing four A levels. It was um, music, um, English, mm -hmm. drama, and history. Yes. And I was making a decision at that point in my life whether I wanted to become a performer or a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And I, I, after the first year, I decided, you know what? Oh. I love law, but music is more important to me. Yes. And so I dropped history. Uh huh. And I still love history, but I just I dropped it mm -hmm. and I took up dance to combine to suit everything else that I was studying. And I knew that I was going to go to university and do a performing arts degree, mm -hmm. which I did. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, you, um, you did um, uh, your own, uh, you know, one woman show as well yeah, in the that's past. Correct, yeah. Tell me about this. Okay. So I um, decided to do a one woman show at the Dugdale Theatre in Enfield in North London and it was a combination of different songs from musicals mm -hmm. and some pop, a little bit of pop, but mainly musical theatre based and yeah. where I would step into different characters mm -hmm. and um, sing these songs, which I've, I love doing as well, not just singing as myself but as different characters. Was it successful? I mean, did it the was. people like it? it? I did two nights. Two nights. And we had a good crowd. That's good. You know, it filled up well. And um, it went really, really well. And I was very lucky that an agent happened to come along uh -huh. and um, spot me and decide to sign me. So uh, since you get the agent, yeah. did you get plenty of auditions? Or what's happening at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get auditions. But obviously, you need to suit a certain cast type. So mm -hmm. it's finding that right cast type for whatever you're going for. Yeah. You prefer going for a, a musical or uh, what do you usually go for? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not that fussy. I love musicals, mm -hmm. but, you know, acting on you, its own. You can do a plain straight acting as well. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I did. I mean, even from my A-levels, um, I played the lead role of Polly mm -hmm. in Brecht's Thripney Opera, um, which was a musical. Did you have any parts in theatre in the past? Um, well, at the moment, I'm working on a, a, a theatre production. Uh -huh. I'm currently um, working with some, a group of actors where we're devising a piece mm -hmm. to... Um, we're producing something where it's from actors from different cultural backgrounds and we're just working on this piece and how we all sort of interact here in the UK because obviously we know that the UK is very diverse. Uh, you so mean I'm you're going to write your own, uh, you know, script or what? How is it going to work? Collectively, there's a uh -huh. director. Okay. Um, the director, Mark Hilton, he's the resident director of Mamma Mia as well. Okay. So he is putting this together um, along with um, the choreographer, Elizabeth Pick, mm -hmm. another Elizabeth... <laughs> And we're just currently in the process of putting these pieces together. At the moment, it's just all very... Yes. Um, it's like a montage, if you like. And I'm writing a monologue for it. And I'm representing the Greek culture okay. here in the UK. All right. So um, how about, uh, you know, uh, okay, your father, mother, mm. uh, you know, um, it's your family, but you have your own family now. I do. Yes. Um, and you are... Uh, Husband is a musician as well, yes? 
Yeah, my husband Simon. Um, you you he, found him in a business? In a, you met him in. We a, were friends for many years ah, before okay. we we got married. Oh, uh, right, right. and, yeah, and and you have here. a kid. <laughs> you have a kid as well. We yeah? do. Yeah, we How have. Old uh, you? Andrea, he's fourteen months old. Oh my name, Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. Thank you, Andreas. Yes. Thanks. Okay, so. Um, now you're doing anything at the moment or just, uh, you know, working with the band? No, um, one of the reasons why I'm here today talking yeah. to you is um, because of my first release. Yes, <clears throat> I was going to go to this actually yeah. because you um, uh, come up with a, you know, a nice song and which I play quite a bit of uh, yeah, times. Yeah, thank you. Thank and you for to, playing. Actually, today I play it on the radio in the morning. Thank you. And uh, did you listen to me sometimes? I do. Yeah, today, I did it today. You missed it today. I did it. Yeah, because I say, you know, she's going to be, soon she's going to be, um, you know, uh, uh, with me and, you know, uh, we're going to find out more about her because I'm going <laughs> to interview her. Anyway, so tell me about this song. I mean, did you have in mind to do um, a Greek song for a long time or? Uh, well, um, to be you? honest with you, it didn't really occur to me until I was phoned up. Remember, the baby was probably, how old was he? About six months old, my son. And mm -hmm. I got a phone call um, to ask that I perform a duet with Bludarkos, Yanis Bludarkos, at the Cypriot Wine Festival. Yes. And it was such an amazing thing to do. And it, what a lovely man, by the way. He's, Look, Mr. Bludarkos? Yeah, he's such a yes, lovely man. Yes, I met man. him a couple of times, quite he's a few so times. He's so down yes, to yes. earth. But yeah, so. He's a nice I'm, man, yes. Really nice. And. Mm. So I did this duet with him and I just I was just overwhelmed by all the support that I got from the Greek community mm -hmm. over here in the UK and everyone was just so excited for me and they said we're so proud of you. I thought you know what I need to do a Greek song and mm -hmm. why because for many reasons one of them is I don't know if it's because I'm involved in this theatre production at the moment the way you know I'm really sort of going back to my roots but I thought I have to do a Greek song. Mm -hmm. For records, like but you usually a... sing Greek songs with the band. Yeah, but I wanted to do yeah, one to that have one recorded that I've this. recorded that yes. isn't a cover. Mm -hmm. It's something that it's is a new song, isn't new. it? And yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I worked recently with Harry Kay. Yes, who Mr. Wrote Harry Kay. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah, he's good. So. He's a very good guy. I work with him as well. You know, and yeah, uh, yeah, I know. we did quite a few um, songs together on this and. Um, so that song has been released and uh, it's been heard on the radio, yeah. uh, London Greek Radio, especially in my show, okay, <laughs> all the time. I like it. I like Thank it. Thank yes. you. And you know something? I was so surprised when you said to me, you don't like to have the interview in Greek. I thought, oh, why? I mean, <laughs> the song is so, I mean, yeah. you, you are um, Greek, you know, listen to the song. It's so nice and clear, their voice and all this. And I thought she must be able to speak Greek. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Next Thank time. You. Yeah, I know. Yes. It's a confidence. So, thing. what it's, is the yeah. plan with Mr. Harry K? Do you have more songs yeah. planned yeah. or we're, what, we're, what is happening at the moment? We're currently working on the next song. Next song. Yeah, and I've heard it and I've. Um, you, which this, is, is it the same them. similar um, style or is it more uh, up, up to. Uh, I mean, more uh, bead in I'm gonna, I'm going to keep it a surprise. Okay, then. All it's right. going to be a surprise. But yes. um, the re one of the reasons why I didn't hear your show today is because I've been working on it. Ah, did you? Today, yeah. You were with Harry? Um, not ah, well, you, ah, you worked on the so song. We've yes. been conversing okay. and sending each other things. All right, that's good. Um, so we haven't actually collaborated with this song just yet. We haven't yes. done that yet, but we will be. And this is just a process now where we're just feeding off each other. Lovely. So that's what I was doing this morning. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, when you have the song ready, I mean, I already played the song uh, uh, Hyoni Sti Yeah. Uh, written by Mr. Harry Gutsvagis. Yes. Music and lyrics, eh? Yeah. Oh, and well, produced. Yeah. And produced, yes. Yeah. He's doing everything. He does everything. That's why he kicked <laughs> me out, you know. Anyway. <laughs> ah. Anyway. So, okay. Um, let's talk about... Um, uh, you know, a little bit more about the Blue Dark Horse, uh, you know, yes, duet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how it came about? I mean, what's happened? I mean, uh, did you meet him before or...? 
Did you um, have to, um, you know, uh, practice a lot with him? Or? Well, what we did was, obviously, because he's a very busy man. Yeah. Um, we, he came, obviously, I think it was one or two days before the Cypriot one. A couple festival, of days before, yeah. yeah. So we met him, along with Kay Coke, mm -hmm. the rapper. Yes. And he's a really nice guy, too, actually. Yes, really yes. Cool. So um, we met <coughs> at the hotel where he was staying uh -huh. at and had a little sort of conference room where we, we met, said hello, and yes. rehearsed the song. And it went with really the music well. as well. With the music. Yeah, with the music. We yes. had the uh, uh, backing track yes, to backing rehearse track, to, yeah. but it was okay. just to sort of stage everything, just so it looked nice, presentable on stage, because we'd never done it before. Yes, with yes, him, yes. So. Um, yeah, that was really nice. It was, yeah, really it was nice good, actually. I was there at the wine festival, and yeah. I was, uh, you know, impressed with uh, Thank you, yeah. both as well, and both of you, and uh, you and the guy, you know, the rapper as well. I didn't know him. Kevin, I thought, yeah. Kevin, I thought he was, um, he wasn't Greek, I thought he was... Yeah, he's, he's half Greek. But he's, he's half Greek, yeah. In, yeah. He's a little bit lachrinos, you know, like his colour is not uh, actually Greek colour, you know, and I thought, you know, might be half cast or something. Oh, no, yes. no, he's, no. no, he's, he's a, uh, half Greek and half yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's doing, you know, um, uh, gigs and all this kind of thing? He's, uh, um, yeah, he's doing really well with his album. Oh, he's good, doing really good. well, yeah. Lovely. Um, yeah. And the other thing I wanted to mention was a really nice thing to be able to meet up in a hotel and, and do a rehearsal. Uh -huh. You know, it was a really good thing to do because I've done it cold with other artists. I've yes. worked with other big artists um, in the UK. With where the you home. just meet them just mention a couple of names. Um, I've done backing singing for uh, Mariah Carey. Oh, oh my um, God. Susan yeah. Boyle. Oh. Yeah, we know Susan Boyle. And yeah, I know Susan Boyle, yes. Westlife, have you heard of Westlife? Westlife, I yeah. love them. Yes, They're lovely, them. aren't they? Yeah, From so Ireland, yes. So Brilliant, I've, oh yeah. my God. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with Susan Boyle? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, hello, Simon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does she do now? I mean, is she still, you know? I, I'm. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Um, so, in her album, uh, the latest album, you did the, uh, um, you know, vocals. Uh, no, no. This was live performances I like. for, uh, you know, the Piers Morgan show. Oh yes. Susan Boyle. Ah. I did uh, with Mariah Carey. It was for the X Factor. X Factor. Oh. And uh, with Westlife, it was Record of the Year. That was actually my first ever yes, my God. Um, job and, and you get singing these, on television. You get these jobs, um, you know, through your agent, or how a they come about? A different kind of different, agent. It was yes. prior to uh -huh. being signed to this agent. Westlife, I love them. They're brilliant, actually, yes. I love Susan Boyle, but, you know, Maria what Curry. What an amazing lady, though. Yeah, she's brilliant. She's, yes, yes, yes. She's, I know, obviously, there's, there's yeah, other yeah. things going yes. on, but, you know, you wonder what, you know, because obviously her character would be quite temperamental. So um, you, you sort of see her backstage thinking, oh, I hope it's going to go okay. And mm -hmm. then the doors open and then she just, I don't know what happens to her, but it's like the lights come on, she walks through. Yes, very calm. And she and, sings yeah. like a bird. Yeah, yeah, She's, very calm. She's always yeah. very calm. How do you, how you find them? Are they approachable? I mean, you know. Can you just yeah, you know, go think, and you hello, know, Susan? You know You're what? right, Susan, or you know, I mean. I think even with Mariah Carey. Yes. They're so like down to earth people. Mm. I know, like obviously, like with the media and everything, they mm. make it look like they're these prima donnas, and yes. she's not like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's usually the management that are around them that obviously they have to look after her and make sure that she's definitely, protected. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway, we haven't got the, uh, you know, a song, you know, uh, with Harry K, you know, Honest in Cardia. Yeah. Uh, but we have um, the other one with uh, Mr. Plutarchos from yeah. Wine Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you to give me an example, just to give me a verse. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what I like to do. Okay. For, um, the pressure's on. I'll just better you know, just, some just, uh, just a verse from, uh, what do you call it, uh, from... Uh, Honestly, God, yeah. Okay. Would you mind? Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Why? I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Why? No, I don't Sh think. Honestly, God, yeah. No, I'll sing something else. Some something else. Why yeah. can't you? I mean, honestly, God, yeah. Just to give an example to no, our no, I can't. audience. <laughs> I yes. can't do that. Okay, never mind. Sorry. All right then. What else? 
Um, what would you like to hear? Okay, I like to hear. A, a you like the Bettiga, don't you? Yeah, yes, I like the Bettiga. Would you like um, yes. something like Itervederisa? Terpederisa. Yeah. How about um, uh, Prigibesa? I don't know that one. You don't know that one? No. Okay, Terpederisa. Okay. Yes, okay. All right, so do you want to do the beat? Can you no, I'm, I'm not a musician. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'll give you a wrong right, I'll just, I'll you know, direction. Okay. Yes. Ask your husband to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Let me, let's do this, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Τρέξε μάγκα να ρωτήσεις να σου πουν πια είμαι εγώ Είμαι εγώ γυναίκα φίνα τερβετέρισα που τους μάγκες σαν τα ζάρια τους μπεγλέρισα Που τους μάγκες σαν τα ζάρια τους μπεγλέρισα Είμαι εγώ γυναίκα φίνα τερβετέρισα Μπράβο σου Ελίζα, μπράβο σου Thank you Μπράβο, 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 μπράβο Very well I like the backing vocals Yeah, you like them? Thank you Yes, this is what I do, I just, you know, start I don't start up from the beginning, just, you know, I go in the middle And start, you know Yes, it's nice. So, um, after um, the wine festival, did you have any other offers uh, to go and see? I mean, oh yeah. I mean, it varies from day to day, mm -hmm. um, from week to week. The, uh, recently, uh, was it last Wednesday? Last Wednesday, um, I was asked to sing at a venue called A Hundred Wardour. Mm. Uh, where um, there was a Motown event, so mm -hmm. I sang Motown all ah, night. Good. And it was with um, one of the singers from Heatwave. Um, his name is... Oh my God, it's gone right over my head. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good experience. Don't worry about it. It, it changes from day to day. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, um, you have a kid now, you're married, you have a kid yeah, and all this yeah. kind of thing. Mm. Um, is it Easy, I mean, with a kid and um, you know, uh, husband and uh, all the family, you know. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's hard, yeah. but when you, you Who, know, you okay. understand, you love it. When, when you love it, you yes. manage. Okay, when you work, yeah. uh, um, you know, um, and you have to. Um, sometimes you, I suppose, you go away with the band and all this kind of thing. Abroad. A a brother might be away from London, or you, oh, you yeah, play, like, yes. yeah, somewhere in the UK. Yes, and what's happening <laughs> with uh, what is your uh, son's name? Andrea. Andreas. Yeah. Andreas. Who is looking after him if if, if your husband is he's working got, as well? He's got a, an amazing yaya. My mom. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. He's okay. amazing with him. Yeah, yeah, give a push. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. Well, that's Bapu, good. Bapu's you, working so with you have the support. Mommy. <laughs> you have a support. Ah, yeah. Papu is working with you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But you have a support of uh, the family. Yeah, yes, we do. Yes, yeah, it's, and kid. I'm very lucky mm -hmm. um, to you know be able to do that. Yeah, we do work very hard and we try to juggle. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a piano teacher as well, which I ah, do, you do during the you week. Yeah. Give lessons on. Yeah, I do. So I work with children. Bravo. Um, mm -hmm. So it can be very, very busy, mm -hmm. but we manage. Yeah. yeah. You um, uh, have any other future plans? I mean, what do you have in mind? Do you have any other plans? Um, for example, yeah. let's let's say for example, if you if you if your songs, you know, with Mr. Harry K, yeah. going very well, you know, what I mean, and yeah. the, uh, have an offer from Greece to go and work in Greece, would you? Take uh, your husband and Andreas and go to live. To live, yes. I mean, some um, some of our artists yeah. from London and Cyprus. This yeah. is what they do. They have offers from uh, yeah. when you know they have offers from Greece to work in um, uh, clubs and all this because it's Greece Athens is where all the money. You know, at the moment yeah. I know it's difficult, but usually you know where all the nightlife and all this kind of thing. Yeah, so I think I think if I think to be honest with you, we sort of 
especially because obviously we have a little one now as well, that we just take everything as uh, each day as it, as it comes. comes and like yeah. approach each situation and look at it and think about it and talk about it before we make any decisions. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how we... So in this case, because uh, your husband, uh, you know, might be, has have different ideas for the future, yeah. would you have any, uh, you know, um, plans to work with your husband in a... In, oh, you know, we've worked together many to times. work but in a, you know, in a, I mean, create a new bond or whatever and work together um, and... Or, I, th no. I think, well, when we work together, we tend to write music and um, did you it. Did you write something together? You write in together yeah, sometimes? Yeah, we do, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, we still do. Uh-huh, yes. Do you have any English songs recorded as well? Um, yeah, um, that we haven't released, but we have, we've got, a, uh, well, Simon, my husband's got a, a whole yeah. load, a library full of songs that yes. he's written, yes. and I've done a few, mm -hmm. but it, the talent... Is, uh, Simon is. Chapman. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So um, no, no other plans. No um, other plans at the moment. Well, the plan is yeah. is to work on this new song. Mm -hmm. um, to keep going with this theatre production that I'm doing, mm -hmm. and to be a mum, and to teach piano, and just do all of these things and take it day by day. That's good. Yeah. And do you plan in the future to have more songs and do your own album in Greek? Or? Yeah, well, that's that's that would be lovely this to is do what an you album. Want to do, yes. Yeah, if that's what an if, album, if, yes. if, if the mm -hmm. um, office there, that's what we're going to do. So. Yeah. yeah. Which music you prefer? I mean, uh, yourself, especially uh, the Greek music. Which type of music, like? What type of Greek music? Greek music, yes. Oh, see, I, I love. Ballads, uh, rock, uh, what it, do you prefer? It varies. Uh, it varies again. I, yes. Being a musician, Rembetica, just having a love. Yeah, Rembetica. Yes. You like Rembetica or, as well. And, and some of the modern songs as well. Like mm -hmm. I love things from Bulo Bulos, Marinella, uh -huh. all the all way up to songs, Pekisina. Yes. You know, uh -huh. it's, it, it varies. Okay. Yeah. I tell you what, we're going to see the video you know, okay, from yeah. uh, uh, Wine Festival. Yeah. And then we'll come back and, you know, see if it's anything else to add or not. Let's go and see that video. Το που γράψει Kings, αλλά αυτή τη φορά θα σου το πω τελείως διαφορετικά. Αιτία είναι ο Κέβιν και η Ελισάβετ, δύο συγκλονιστικά παιδιά που θα τους ακούσετε τώρα. Για πάμε, έστρο. Ένα κόσμο χωρίς τα κοιγμά σου δεν μπορώ να σκεφτώ αν δεν νιώθω τα δυο σου τα χείλη για ποιο λόγο να ζω η καρδιά μου κομμένη στα δύο μα εγώ είμαι εδώ περιμένω την ώρα που θα έρθεις να σου πω σ' αγάπη όσο θα λείπεις εγώ θα δεν έχεις βύσει τη δική σου φωτιά κι αν έχεις φύγει εγώ περιμένω ένα φιλί σαν την πρώτη φορά όσο θα λείπεις εγώ θα πεθαίνω δεν έχω μάθει σε άλλη αρχαγιά κι αν έχεις φύγει εγώ περιμένω όταν καλιά Κι αν έχεις πει τι εγώ περιμένω Ένα φιλί 
σαν την πρώτη φορά Όσο τα λύγεις εγώ θα πεθαίνω Δεν έχω μάθει σε άλλη αγκαλιά Κι αν έχεις φύγει εγώ περιμένω Τότε καρδιά μου δεν είναι αργά no, I can't find truth I lost myself trying to find you I lost myself and my mind too I'll never find nothing like you Just say yes, I say I do Λύπεις εγώ θα πεθαίνω Δεν έχεις βύσει δική σου φωτιά Κι αν έχεις φύγει εγώ περιμένω Ένα φιλί σαν την πρώτη φορά Όσο θα λύπεις εγώ θα πεθαίνω δεν έχω μάθει σε άλλη αγκαλιά Κι αν έχει φύγει εγώ περιμένω Τότε καρδιά μου δεν είναι αργά Κι αν έχεις φύγει εγώ περιμένω Μέχρι να πάψει η καρδιά Να χτύπω Beautiful. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it when I um, saw you um, uh, doing it at the wine festival. Thank you. And uh, it's beautiful. You know, very. Uh, you know, um, actually, uh, listening to the original. Yeah. It's not much difference. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's not much difference. <laughs> okay. So, um, do you have any um, anything else to add to um, uh, why you? you know, get into the music? What was the main yeah. reason? Well, I wasn't pushed into it. It was just something that I loved to do. And, you know, I was thinking about it. The reason why I love music so much is because it's something that brings all of us together. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a priest, uh, a mother, you're unemployed, you're self-employed, a doctor, you know, whatever you are, whatever yeah. your status is, when the music starts and people get up on, onto the dance floor, all of that washes away and it's mm -hmm. all about the music and it brings us all together. And I yeah. think that's what I love and I love, that's why I love to sing as well because mm -hmm. I want to bring joy to people. That's why. Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's a good reason, actually. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, with uh, your um, piano teaching. Yeah. Um, do you have plenty of, uh, you know, people coming to you? I mean, is it uh, kids, older people? I've had a they? variety, but I tend to right. work more with young children mm -hmm. from the age of about five. Okay. And um, I really love working with kids. Um, I tend to have a good relationship with them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, they come for lessons in my home. I used to teach at their houses, but since I've had Andrea, Andreas, Andreas, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's obviously hard, so they come to me now, which mm -hmm. is really nice. And um, they take their exams, and they mm -hmm. do well, and they pass. And it's really nice to see them achieve and grow. And, you know, there was one, there's one boy that I used to teach from, I don't know, seven years old. And now he's um, 17. And he's, you know, he was a tiny little thing, and now he's bigger than me. And, you know, he's such a good pianist. And it's just really nice to see them... Mm -hmm. progress yes. and enjoy the music. You are um, involved obviously with the band and you do, um, you know, most of the gigs are about, uh, you know, weddings and all this kind of thing. Yeah. So how traditional are you? I mean, you know. As a band? As, not just a band, as a band, as uh, Elizabeth. Are um, you uh, close to the traditions? Uh, you go to, I mean, to uh, Greek events, you go to a church, you go to, you know, yeah, well, yeah. If, if you want, I can tell you how my wedding was, yes. um, which was two years ago, and um, we had a Greek wedding. Mm -hmm. It was at Panaia, yeah. and and then um, we had the traditional Greek wedding. We had the stolisma at the house, which was lovely, yeah. and we did all the traditional things that you would do at a Greek wedding. Uh -huh. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, you, you are uh, cuisine, you know... Uh, in the kitchen, you cook in the Greek traditional food or? Myself? Yes. I need to get better at that. I'm okay. Yes. 
I can make yes. things like uh, afkolemoni. Uh, I see. Uh, it's difficult. I, I can't cook a full money. <laughs> yes. And giftedes, etc. Giftedes. But I've, I've been hounding my mom to give mm. me the magaronia do furno recipe ah. because she's famous for it. Is she? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I'll get her to make you some. Yes, please. What is your mother's name? Nigi. Kiria Nigi. Mia Maria magaronia amena, please. I like magaronia do furno. Yes, please. <laughs> me gay man. Ne. Very, very, very me gay man. Ne. Livon. Okay. So, uh, Elizabeth, you know, um, it's been nice to have you here yeah, in my really show. Yes, nice. Thank you. Yes, yeah. and uh, I enjoy your, um, you know, singing the cappella, you know, the rembetico song. I enjoy the video clip as well, you know what I mean? And I'm looking forward to listen to the next song you're doing with Mr. Harry K. Thank you. I'm going to play you a song tomorrow again and dedicate it to uh, your family. And, Thank you. And to your mother, Nikki, and to your father, Andreas, is it? I think he wants an extra helping of Magaronia de Furno. Yes, yeah, well, this is what I'm trying to do, you know, <laughs> to get an extra portion of Magaronia de Furno. <laughs> Livon. And uh, wish all the best, anyway. Oh, thank you. It's been okay. really nice. Thank and you. And when you have uh, your new song, new, new, new song uh, ready, you know, with Mr. K, yeah. send it to me, please. And I will try and arrange an interview with Helen, with um, LGR as well. Thank you. Yeah, that'd and be great. we can play your song because uh, here it's uh, it's not easy to play just the sound. You know what I mean? Because we need, you know, visual. Uh, yeah, you understand. Know. Yeah. So um, thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank and you I for wish, having me. I wish you all the best, and um, I'm looking forward to listen to your uh, new song as well. And um, when you have it ready, let me know. I will do. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Now, I first wish you all the Elizabeth Chapman. First, we wish you to the good friends of the Telethiates who were here with us. I will tell you that I and you will be with us the next time, the next time, the next time, the next time, with a new person or person. Να ε, μου επιτρέψετε όμως να ευχαριστήσω και τον χορηγό μας, τον Dr. Βασίλη Μαύρου από το Βαρόσι Λέτινγκς. Καλησπέρα σας κύριε Μαύρου, να είστε καλά, ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ για τη στήριξη. Αυτά λοιπόν προς το παρόν, να έχετε μια πολύ όμορφη νύχτα και θα το πούμε και πάλι την ερχόμενη Κυριακή. Καλή νύχτα.